So now for something completely different. What are we, tr uh, what are we trying to achieve? Uh, we're, tr uh, we're trying to take, uh, take uh, what we used to have as uh, a premium sports experience and make it, uh, make it feel better. So it's so something that seems very traditional. You want to, uh, you want to go uh, start the channel, uh, see, uh, see the pictures, be at a very low latency, ultra low latency, with a target of being something like uh, one second, which uh, means uh, you, don't, you don't get tweets that are telling you that the goal was scored uh, before you actually see it. Then you want to go and make sure that this performs uh, the, be uh, the best you can do on uh, your existing networks. Adaptive streaming right now is uh, cutting edge 1997. Uh, most of the networks we have right now are wireless, and turns out that most of the uh, of our customers have uh, less than ideal wireless signal. Lastly, we need uh, synchronization, and last but not the least, we need something that is economical. Lots of these problems can uh, can be solved, for instance, with tools like WebRTC. They are awesome, but you need to redo your com uh, your complete ecosystem in order to deploy them. So there was a question: What do we act, uh, what do we actually want to achieve? Uh, and uh, there was a question: What would it look like? So ideally, we want to we want to be at a uh, at a second end-to-end uh, -end latency, and uh, this second needs to be achieved in a way that is uh, interoperable with the current uh, Dash and current uh, HLS deployments. Otherwise, it becomes uh, way too expensive to, uh, to deploy. An additional thing, if we want to enable betting, we need synchronization. The uh, number that, uh, that, we put, that we put here is, uh, again, a little bit uh, inspirational. Uh, we want people who are in the, uh, in, the same, uh, in the same room to be able to turn one of the uh, 10 TVs they have in the, in the same room with, uh, with audio and then the other TVs would, st uh, would still make sense. Obviously, you cannot, you cannot do this uh, acro uh, across east and west coasts, but uh, it's pretty clear that, uh, that, that was, uh, that type of synchronization was not intended. Uh, lastly, we'd, uh, we want to have our uh, high quality 4K feed, and we want to have uh, um, a Wi-Fi network that, uh, that is at 70 dBm, and, uh, is, uh, and things still, uh, still work. So uh, what is the innovation here? Uh, it's, a, it's actually the whole point of this project is uh, to, ta uh, to take uh, newer technologies that uh, came to mainstream or are, are coming to mainstream over the last uh, few years and see how can we improve something that, uh, uh, that, we, alre uh, that we are already providing. So the, uh, the, first, uh, the first thing is uh, architectural. Uh, we get rid of uh, a, normal, uh, tr a normal contribution and transcoding uh, uh, cycle. We'll do distribution and coding uh, at the place where we, we uh, at the beginning of the chain, at the place where we typically had the contribution uh, encoding. We'll get rid of uh, transport stream as a, uh, as, a, uh, as a hop and save so some time on uh, muxing delay. Uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go and uh, use uh, uh, the, uh, the newer uh, L3D dash, so low latency, low delay extensions that were, uh, that were uh, recently adopted uh, as uh, became the sixth edition of the, uh, of the standard. Then we'll go and, lo uh, and look down at the underlying stack. So first of all, uh, how we can go and optimize for the fact that we are running HTTP3 over quick, looking at the fact that uh, every, res uh, every response is an independent stream, once you have a number of independent uh, quick streams, you don't have head of line blo uh, blocking pro uh, problem to the degree you used to. Then, uh, going even uh, to, a uh, to a lower level, you have uh, L4S and NQ uh, NQB, which are, uh, which are um, IP, uh, IP level uh, technologies that uh, at the bottom line let you, in case of L4S, take a, fa uh, a faster queue for uh, real-time sensitive traffic. 
for NQB uh, for uh, real-time uh, traffic that is uh, uh, very low rate, you can go and bypass the modem queue. Uh, you would think that this, that, this, uh, that this doesn't matter, but it turns out that uh, if you look at P99s of a normal, uh, let's say, cable modem or uh, any other modem for that purpose, uh, you, you can sit in a queue there for, uh, hun for hundreds of milliseconds. So when you, are in, uh, when you are trying to provide a low latency service, this actually matters. So bottom line, we are, uh, uh, we are trying to combine a basket of technologies and, tr uh, and trying to go and uh, use them to provide uh, the, uh, the best uh, economically achi uh, achievable uh, premium sports uh, experience. In terms of the team, we, uh, uh, we have uh, yours truly and Comcast uh, as uh, uh, the champion, and Cast Labs on the, pl uh, on the player side, Vinova on the codec side, and AMD on the encoding side. Uh, we're looking uh, for more champions, especially champions with uh, keen interest in uh, uh, sports broadcast, news broadcast. And uh, we're, uh, we're looking for like-minded uh, vendors. The more, the more the merrier. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>